Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the Idiom Decision Manager Workbench. I'm going to give you an overview on how these various components and parts of the Idiom Decision Manager Workbench fit together and also how they communicate with each other. The area which is the domain of the Workbench Analyst who is responsible for defining to the Workbench the various Idiom Decision Models and Data Mapping Executables it is also the area where the activities and processes that use these executables are defined. Once the executables are defined in DMW, they can be uploaded into Decision Manager Workbench as part of a release manifest. These executable binaries are uploaded and stored within database table columns as executable binaries called blobs. These are binary large objects. This is to allow the transportation across a network without the need to install executables on external servers. Over to the right is something called the target system, which is a definition of the business's database to DMW that is to acquire data from, and to be able to pass this data into the idiom decision models for processing. Invariably, there will be more than one of the same type of target database, such as development tests and production instances. DMW caters this need by the definition of environments within DMW which at execution time are used to control database access to point to different instances of the target system. These green bits here just to say if decision models can be embedded within existing applications or as part of decision manager workbench. It is not an invasive technology. We can access any SQL compliant database and then there's DMW runtime. It's a lighter color to emphasize that the runtime is a lightweight shell application that only needs to know how to interact with the DMW components to execute processes. Runtime is a once only install of a shell application and many instances can be installed on a single or multiple servers. These instances are normally installed as automatic Windows services. The DMW runtime pulls the scheduler for job for which it can run and once given a job, a request is made to the DMW process manager for a list of executable binaries that the process will execute. These executables are loaded in memory ready for execution. Typically, the first step of a process is to acquire data from the target system. DMW and the idiom data mapper provides a necessary connection and query definitions to access the target system's database. For each record of the initial query, a complete set of data is retrieved for the business entity, such as customer or account, and then transformed into an XML document. The runtime interfaces with process manager to execute each process step as defined within the process, usually decision models. At the end of the process, for each set of data, process manager inspects the XML document for any alerts that have been reported and writes these alerts back into the Decision Manager Workbench database for reporting purposes. The process continues with the next business entity until the entire initial query list has been processed. One client using DNW is processing over 450,000 member database records, each with over 20 associated member related tables as well as their share of 800 million financial transactions on a daily basis. They're managing to do that in under two and a half hours. This process is executing 15 decision models comprising 161 distinct rule tests of the complete set of member data. This concludes today's demonstration of DMW Workbench. Thank you.